An Englewood mother of three tried to renew her driver's license back in May, but what she got was not what she expected. What was on the license shocked her. SNN Local News 6 reporter Howie Grace has more on this. By all accounts, Ashley Leinberger is a typical mom. Three kids, two dogs, and a minivan. We do get out from time to time to run errands. And um, like I said, I take them to the library and we go to the grocery store. So when Leinberger found out that her license was set to expire in May, she sent in the $46 to renew it by mail. You're going to need a license for everything that you do. Um, if I go to the store and they have to verify a check, I have to have my license to do that. But when she got her new license in the mail, there was a problem. Um, <laughs> the only thing that was disturbing was the um, address. Instead of having her address printed on the license, there was a very vulgar phrase. I seriously pinched myself a couple of times, thinking that I was still dreaming. <laughs> and that I was going to wake up at any point in time, and this is going to be hilarious, but no. But we wanted to give the DMV the benefit of the doubt, just in case there was such a road somewhere in Englewood. So I brought up my GPS on my phone, and I punched it in. No such luck. Honestly, I... Um... I was shocked. I went through a moment of silence and then I uh, thought about it and I started laughing. But it stopped being funny when the DMV office on San Casa Boulevard in Englewood tried to charge Ashley to replace the license. I said, but this isn't my mistake. And they said that's just fees that they charge, I guess, for the printing of the material at their office. Ashley says that the mistake has also raised a cause for concern. Because if they have all your information, all your private information um, that's, you know, um, you know, all on your license there for them to see, then they could do a whole lot more, I think. Well, what concerns me is that there's someone, there's someone that you don't know that has your information on where you live, your name, and a lot of things are tied to your, your identification number. The Leinbergers say they have tried to contact the DMV headquarters office in Tallahassee and have not gotten a response. I've, I've had a disservice here done to me. I mean, the least you could do would be to fix it for me at no cost. Reporting in Englewood, Howie Grace, SNN, Local News 6. Well, we also contacted the DMV in Tallahassee and they told us they'll be overnighting a new license to Ashley and that they will be conducting a thorough investigation to find out exactly how the mistake happened.